Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode, number 650, the category is the Autumn Trivia Challenge. This is ATC number 12. It's got 20 regular questions, and then at the very end of the video, it's got a question 21 tiebreaker if you need to stick around from that. All of these questions come from different categories with varying degrees of difficulty, so have fun and good luck. Question 1. What English writer, illustrator, natural scientist, and conservationist created Jemima Puddle Duck and Peter Rabbit in the early 1900s? Her name was Beatrix Potter. Question number two. The home of the cities of Barrow, Nome, Fairbanks, and Anchorage, what is the name of the only U.S. state that borders two oceans? If you're from America, this one should be easy. That state is Alaska. Question number three. What is the color idiom which is used to describe an excessive amount of procedures or paperwork that are considered excessive, rigid, or redundant? That is known as the red tape. Question number four. The wife of a recognized English romantic poet, she created one of the most recognized monsters in literature. Who was the author, the creator of Dr. Frankenstein and his monster? Her name was Mary Shelley. Question number five. What is the name of the Major League Baseball team who plays its home games in Wrigley Field and won the World Series in 1907, 1908, and 2016? The answer is the Chicago Cubs. Question number six. What is the name of the flat, round hat with a tight headband that is worn on the heads of artists, Frenchmen, or members of an elite group of the U.S. Army? The hat we're looking for is a beret. Question number seven. What is the hard, white, ceramic material that was invented in China during the Tang Dynasty around 800 AD and is considered to be the finest form of ceramic? The answer is porcelain. Question number eight. In the human body, what is the name of the two tubes of cartilage rings that carry air from the trachea to the lungs? That is known as the bronchial tubes or the bronchi. Question number nine. What is the name of the official power held by the U.S. Chief Executive that allows him to disallow laws that have been passed by the legislature. The answer is a veto. Question number 10. The opposite of an evergreen, what is the scientific term for trees and shrubs that lose their leaves and become dormant during the winter.
trees that lose their leaves are called deciduous. Question number 11. What is the name of the female recording artist known as the Queen of Soul who recorded such hits as Running Out of Fools, Chain of Fools, and Respect? The answer is Aretha Franklin. Question number 12. The U.S. government frequently uses abbreviations to shorten the names of governmental agencies. What agency does the abbreviation FCC stand for? The answer is the Federal Communications Commissions. Question 13. This American inventor said, Genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Who was this man who invented the record player and the incandescent lamp? The answer is Thomas Edison. Question 14. What is the name for a protein that controls the rate of a chemical reaction that takes place in cells, tissues, and organs? The answer is an enzyme. Question 15. Pulitzer Prize winning author Harper Lee wrote, Go Set a Watchman in 2015. What was the name of her only other novel that she wrote 55 years earlier? That novel was To Kill a Mockingbird. Question 16. What was the historic event that happened at Griffin's Wharf on December 16, 1773 by Samuel Adams and the Sons of Liberty, who were disguised as Native Americans? They call that little get-together the Boston Tea Party. Question number 17. What was the name of the man who discovered the basic principles of heredity through experiments with pea plants long before the discovery of DNA and genes? His name was Gregor Mendel. Question number 18. What is the region of the Earth's atmosphere that extends about 30 miles upward and is immediately above the troposphere? Just above the troposphere is the stratosphere. Question number 19. In 1959, he was president of the Screen Actors Guild. Ten years later, he was governor of California. Who was this man, the 40th president of the United States? The answer is Ronald Reagan. And question 20. Also the name of the celestial food used by mythical gods. What is the dish called that is made of oranges and coconut and is typically served at Thanksgiving and Christmas? The answer is ambrosia. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia.
This is episode number 650, so there are 649 other trivia quizzes that you can play if you'd like. About 500 of them, maybe less, maybe we'll say 400 of them are on specific categories. If there's a specific category that you would like to play, you can click over to our YouTube channel page, just click on our icon, click over to that, go to videos, you can search anything there, or you can go to playlists and get an idea. We've got different ones like geography, sports, games, toys, movies, TV, whatever type of trivia you'd like to play, you can get to from our YouTube channel page. Obviously these would fall under the category of random trivia quiz. I think we have about 100 videos in the random trivia playlist. So if you just want to play random question trivia on your next road trip, click over to that, click on the random trivia playlist, and I think you could play for about four days without hearing the same trivia quiz. Anyways, thank you for watching. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today's trivia. What is the name of the region where the hobbits live in Tolkien's Mill Earth? The region, not the town. I believe the town they live in is called Hobbitown or Hobbiton. What do, what's the region, the main region where the hobbits live in Tolkien's Middle Earth? The answer is the Shire. The hobbits come from the Shire. Also, I don't think I have a Lord of the Rings trivia yet. But it will be coming up actually at the end of this month. It's on the list. I'm gonna I don't think I'll have the Hobbit trilogy on there, but I will have the Lord of the Rings trilogy trivia coming up towards the end of this month before Alphabet Trivia Trace. So if you like Lord of the Rings, stick around for that. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow for episode six five one.